Hey everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about exception handling in Python. So, exception handling is very, very important concept. Now, usually to understand exception handling, we need to understand the types of error usually that occur in the program. So, there are some syntax error. So, syntax error will be caught when you are typing in certain lines and there are syntax error. Now, exceptions occur during the runtime. So, when you execute the program, even if the the syntax is correct that might uh, that doesn't mean that the exceptions or the way that you are handling your program might not throw exceptions so there might be exception scenarios for example if you're trying to do the division by number zero so syntactically that program will be correct but division by zero is not possible and it will throw an exception right so let me create a file and then i'll demo exceptions in python so i'll name it as exceptions demo and let's start with very very basic program so the program is i want to input two numbers so i want to ask the customer for two numbers and then divide those two numbers and we'll see if denominator provided by the person is zero then it will throw an error okay so simply i'll use the print statement and i'll say input first number then i will use the input method to get the first number and you and store it into the variable x all right and i will also convert it to or typecast it to integer okay second statement so just copy this here change it to second and store the second input into the variable y now if we want to divide these two numbers so what we'll do is say for example i'm dividing this so i'll simply print x divided by y okay very simple program now if i run this it will ask me the first number so i enter the first number i enter the second number and i'll get the output okay let me run again and this time i will provide the first number then second number as zero and you will see zero division error so division by zero error has been thrown and program terminated right so this is what the exception is so there even though syntactically my program is correct still during the runtime there was an exception okay so when we talk about syntax error so for example this syntax is not correct so you'll see that highlighted in the ide right so if you are using pycharm so you'll get this particular error that this is the syntax error now exceptions are the errors which happen during the runtime of the program now how to handle those exceptions in python you have the try accept okay so try and accept keywords so say for example if you are writing a script and you suspect that particular script or the code is or might fail based on certain input so for example this division so what we'll do is we'll surround this particular code in the try block okay so we'll surround this whole thing into the try block and then we will basically use the accept okay so we'll say accept and we will catch the exception so we'll say accept exception as e okay now there are many exceptions so this is the generic exception so basically all the except different types of exception so zero division error is one type of exception but i'm just using this exception because it doesn't matter which type of exception it will throw it will be able to catch it right if you want to get into the more details of exception handling go through the python documentation and you will find a lot of documentation around there okay so when we say accept exception as e then we will simply say for example let's print it okay so we'll print exception now if we try to execute this and enter the first number and the second number as zero you will see division by zero has been printed and the exception that was occurring has been handled gracefully okay so this is how you handle the exceptions in python now let me add one more print statement here and i will say in accept block i want to show a couple of more things here so now the next keyword that i want to explain is basically you can also use else with try and accept so what else keyword will do is with the, the else section will do is if say for example let me print a statement here in else block all right so now if i run this particular program 
and I input the first number, I input the second number, which is not zero, then you will see that it has printed the result, which is x divided by y, and then printed in else block. Okay, so else block gets executed only if there is no exception in the program. If there is an exception, then else block won't get executed. So, for example, we run again and there is an exception. So, we divide by zero, you will see that it has thrown division by zero and printed in except block and nothing has been printed from the else block which is in else block. Okay, so that's the usage of else block. Now there is another keyword so try accept and finally as uh, in Java as well we have similar uh, try catch and finally so similarly try accept and finally in Python. So when we say finally this finally block will always get executed. So I'll say this is always executed. Okay. So it doesn't matter whether there is an exception in the program or there isn't any exception. The finally block of code will always get executed. Okay. So the, what's the significance of it is basically say, for example, you are writing a program and there is a database connection or you have opened a file, say, for example, okay, you want to read the file or write the file. The file has been opened, but the write process has failed. So still you want to close the file properly. So what you will do is even if the write process has failed, you put the close file details of the program uh, de uh, statements into the finally block so that file gets closed. Okay, similar with the database connection. So you want to close the database connection, then you put put that into the finally block. Okay, so now if I run this, we'll see that say, for example, there is an exception, still you will say that exception has been handled, then we have the accept block. So in accept block, okay, so these two print statements, and then it has printed the finally block statement, which is this is always executed. So even though there was error, the exception, it still executed the finally block. Now, if we say there is no error, let's see what all gets printed. So in this case, you will see that the division has been printed, then else block has been printed. And because there was no exception, the, this block has been ignored, right? So this except exception block gets executed only if there is an exception, right? So it has moved to the else block and then it has moved to the finally block. Okay, so this is the significance of else and finally block along with try and accept. Now one another very important thing is basically raise exception. Okay, so here say for example, I want to now when somebody inputs the value zero. Okay, so we know that the value zero because this is a division method or the statement that we want to execute is division. If somebody will enter zero, then that will cause an error in the division. So what we can do is we can raise the error as soon as somebody enters or raise an exception as soon as somebody enters zero. Okay. So there is a raise keyword as well that you can use with this try and accept. So what you can do is you can simply say here, about this, say for example, somebody enters zero, so we can have the condition there. We can say if y is equal to zero, okay, then I want to raise some exception. So we can say raise exception and we can specify our own details there in the exception. So we can say the denominator is zero. Say so for example, we want to raise this particular exception and print this, right? This exception needs to be printed. So in this particular case, if somebody will enter zero, then this will get raised as an exception and should get printed. Okay. Now let's try to execute it and see it in action. So if we print enter zero and then denominator, uh, numerator as seven and denominator as zero, then you will see that the denominator is zero has been printed, which is basically the raised exception that we have raised as part of this particular if condition, right? So this is the relevance of this raise keyword and why you need to use the raise keyword to raise the exception. So you raise the exception when you know that this particular piece of code might throw an exception if some other wrong value has been entered, then you raise this particular exception. Okay. If you want to basically get into the more details, so that there are many types of exception and, and you don't need to basically remember each and every type. So if we go to the Python documentation, I'll show you Python 
exceptions and here let's say built-in exceptions right so if you go to built-in exceptions you will see all sort of different exceptions and the details for the exception right so these are the built-in exceptions and there is a huge list of exception that you can specifically use whenever you are dealing with certain type of exceptions so go through it read it as much as you can but if you want to keep it simple and you do not want to get you know um, or you your usage is very uh, simple then in that in that particular case you can just stick to this particular exception example okay and do not need to specify any of the memory or key error so basically these all exceptions happen specific so if you want to handle a specific memory error you you know that this exception is going to be a memory error or some other type of os error then you can handle those separately okay if i just search for exception so this is the built-in so this exception is the base exception if you see right so there's the base class and base exception and these are some of the exceptions so this is what we have been using so a built-in non-system existing exceptions are derived from this class so this is the class from which non-system existing uh, exceptions have been derived okay so even all user defined exceptions should be derived from this class right so we have been working with this particular class okay so that's all about the exception handling in python and then also we have covered try except finally else when else will be executed when finally block will be executed and then the raise keyword how to raise the exception when you know that a particular operation might throw an error in future okay so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching